Hi, I'm Akihiro Nishikawa, working for Microsoft as a cloud solution architect based in Japan. If you are interested in me, please follow my Twitter account and check my blog. Today's topic is managed identity. According to the document, managed identities provide an identity for applications to use when connecting to resources that support Azure Active Directory authentication. Applications may use the managed identity to obtain Azure AD token. We can use two types of managed identities. One is system assigned, another is user assigned. Each has several characteristics. For more details, please check the URL in the slide. The characteristic I'd like to cover in this talk is managed identities can be used to authenticate to any resources that support Azure AD authentication, including own applications. If I could use this capability, I could identify Cora application from Cori application side. Let's check it. To verify the capability, I create the following environment with App Service and Azure functions. All are implemented in Java, and App Service is implemented with Spring Boot framework. First of all, let me show you my configuration for Cori application. In case of Cori application, authorization authentication capability is required. The easiest way to equip it is use app service authentication capability. In this configuration, Cori application is registered to Azure AD. When the token verification is required, use a bearer token stored in HTTP authorization header. If no token verification is required, Cori application don't have to handle tokens. In Cora application side, managed identity should be enabled. In this talk, I used system assigned managed identity. Next, we have to obtain a bearer token passed to Cori applications. I could find lots of C sample codes, but it was a little bit hard to find sample codes in Java. But finally, I could find them. The key point is to use default Azure credential. It's okay to use managed identity credential. And when obtaining access tokens, reactive fashion is used. In this sample code, block method is used, but this method should not be used in production code. That's it. Now that both applications are deployed to Azure, it's time to check the behavior of both applications. Now let me share my screen. Left side is Postman, REST API Client, and right side is Azure Portal, which shows log streams of Cori application. And click, in, click this Send button, and Postman calls Cori applications, and Cori application passes a request to Cori application. And Cori application responds to the REST request and send back to Cori application. And Cori application modifies response from Cori applications and reply to Postman. Finally, Postman shows response from core application. Click sending. It's fine, okay. Let me check log streams of Cori application. Some ID like string appears. This ID should be application ID of Cora applications. Now let me check the ID like string shown in the log stream. Enter the phrase of Cora five o o e one c a three, and this is it's the same as uh, the ID like string shown in the Cori applications log stream. Let me summarize benefits and possible use cases when using managed identities in app service and functions. We can gain benefits from managed identity capabilities like passwordless authentication. And if examining access tokens like typical OAuth 2.0 application, Cori applications can eliminate requests from unexpected callers. In this research, I could learn other characteristics of app services and functions. I hope my talk helps you. Thank you.